Hello, this is Hockey Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-427, also known as the Lovecraftian Locket. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-427, Object Class Safe, See Containment Procedures. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-427 displays no means of self-locomotion or malicious intent at this time. It requires only minimal containment. Due to SCP-427's adverse effects, only medical staff of Class 3 or above may handle or utilize it. All personnel using SCP-427 must record their total time using it in order to avoid unwanted mutations. Instances of SCP-427-1, colloquially referred to as Flesh Beasts is created by SCP-427, must be killed eliminated as it is impossible to communicate with or experiment on them safely. For this reason, instances of, uh, of the Flesh Beasts are, classi are classified as Keter. Description. SCP-427 is a small, spherical, ornately carved locket made of polished silver material. The ornate carvings do not seem to be to serve any function. It is unknown whether SCP-427's outer casing was crafted by sentience or not. Its circumference at its widest point is roughly 3 centimeters. SCP-427 was created after placing a pill of SCP-500 in the envelope in the input booth of SCP-914 and using the find setting. It displays no unusual activity when closed. When open, when open, a small glowing orb is visible at the center. The orb emits no radiation or energy aside from the visible spectrum. When SCP-427 is open and exposed to biological tissue, it rapidly regenerates damage and somehow is able to purge invading compounds or infections. As a standard measure, the common cold it takes three days to be worked through with the human immune system and eventually removed. In the presence of an opened SCP-427, this time is reduced to two to four minutes. Its healing abilities are directional, so ending non-line of sight with the central orb experiences no effects. However, long-term exposure produces a significant health hazard. As the locket heals damage, it, it optimizes the body's natural systems. Resistance to disease and toxins is increased by 500% compared to accepted LD50 or death rate by use after total of 10 minutes of exposure and 10,000% after 15. After 15 minutes of exposure, muscular systems begin optimizing increasing strength and pain tolerance by 200 to 300%. All other in systems continue to optimize. Flash the personnel exposed to the device for over an hour, their total began mutating into a sh shapeless mass of tissue. The conversion time accelerates with continued exposure to SCP-427. The flesh beasts, so named due to their appearance, created by SCP-427, are incredibly aggressive, attacking any and all, all personnel on site with lethal results. They are highly resistant to most known weaponry, but can be disabled with sufficient shock uh, treatment or heat in excess of 1100 degrees Celsius, or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Intelligence cannot be accurately gauged, but mapping a biological enhancement of the brain as a direct relationship with the optimization of our system suggests intelligence could exceed levels measured in humans when fully transformed. SCP-427 is currently being used as a partial replacement for SCP-500 pills, as it can cure almost anything SCP-500 is able to. All imp optimizations applied by SCP-427 are cumulative. Oversight has deemed these side effects an acceptable risk, but users must carefully record their total exposure time as sufficient mutations are grounded on for termination.
So basically, it's a magical healing locket that can heal just about any disease or injury you get. But if you have it open around you for too long, you become a beast. Well, that was fun to read. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, and hopefully far earlier than today, goodbye!